Hey, bro, relax. Stop. I'm not talking to you. No, 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 listen to me. Everyone should drive responsibly. Only a moment's lack of concentration can cause a serious accident. Stay in that position, Mom. Yep. You need to stay in that position. No, no. But what happens when someone thinks they can drive while under the influence? All I'm trying to do is test your ability to follow instructions. It's standardized plus sobriety test. Your instructions, more From someone hitting the curb while taking a turn to someone getting into a drunken rage over a traffic stop, here are some incidents where cops had to apprehend these individuals. This incident revolved around a 22-year-old woman named Hernandez. On December 17th, 2023, in Las Cruces, New Mexico, an officer observed a vehicle hit the curb while making a right turn. The officer immediately initiated a traffic stop. The officer approached her car and began his investigation. The officer started to talk with Hernandez and asked if she had a drink. She denied drinking anything. Then the cop wanted to see her car license and registration. The officer decided to give her field sobriety tests, so he asked her to step out of the car. Look at the tip of my finger. Can you take your glasses off for me? Like this? That's right. Can you see the tip of my finger? Alright. You're gonna follow the tip of my finger, the eyes and your eyes only, you're not gonna move your head. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. All right, ma'am. Once again, you're gonna follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. You're not gonna move your head. Do you understand? All The officers gave her instructions about the first sobriety exercise. He gave her a horizontal gaze test. She was nervous while performing. Hernandez then performed the test. Is this gonna start at 21? Or is it this I do instruct you to do so, I'll explain it again, okay? So with your left foot on the line, your right foot in front of your left foot touching the toe, just like mine, right? I'm in the starting position. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And then you're gonna count. One, two, three, all the way to nine. I took three steps, you're gonna take nine. Once you have taken your ninth step, you're going to leave your front foot planted and take a series of small steps until you're facing the opposite direction, just like this. On that same line, you're going to take nine more heel to toe steps. One, two, three. All the way to nine. You understand? There's the entire test. You're going to look at your feet. You're going to count out loud. Okay? You're not going to stop the test until you've completed the test. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Do you have any questions? No, I'm just trying to... Balance, that's how I am. Make sure you keep your arms at your side. You cannot allow the number of steps. So you stare at your feet and you don't stop the test until you've completed the test. You have any questions? You may begin. Sam, have you completed the test?
Have you completed the test? Ma'am, have you completed the test? No. Okay. Okay. All right. One more test, okay? So this is the one leg stand. What you're going to do is you're going to put your feet together. Heels to heels, toes to toes, just like mine. You can put your hands at your sides, okay? Don't start the test until, you, until I tell you to, to start, okay? I'm just going to explain the test and I'll ask if you have any questions, okay? So with your feet together, toes to toes, heels to heels, your hands to your sides, you're going to raise one foot off the ground. Whichever foot of your choice could be your right foot or your left foot. You're going to raise it approximately six inches off the ground. You're going to look at your foot and you're going to count out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 until I tell you to stop. Okay, it's going to look like this. So your feet together, toes to toes, heels to heels, your hands on your sides. You're going to lift whichever foot uh, off the ground, approximately six inches. You're going to look at your foot, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 until I tell you to stop. You understand? You're gonna keep your hands down at your sides, you're gonna look at your foot, you're gonna keep your legs locked, you're gonna count out loud. 1001, 1002, 1003 until I tell you to stop. Do you have any questions? All right, just give me a second. You may begin. You may begin. Look at your foot. All right, ma'am, you can stop. You can stop. Afterward, the officers gave her a walk and turn test. During the exercise, she was walking uncontrollably. She could not maintain her balance. Then the officer gave her a one leg stand test. She raised her leg, but did not count the numbers as Hernandez failed all the tests. The officer arrested her. When they placed her in the police cruiser, she cried. Hernandez was charged with DUI. While Hernandez tried her best to perform all the tests, our next individual gave up once the officers mentioned a breathalyzer. I don't want you to move your head at all. Your middle finger, right? This one right here. Sounds good. Don't move your head at all, okay? Okay. This incident revolved around a Hooters waitress. In 2023, in New Mexico, an officer observed a car was speeding and swerving between lanes. The officer immediately conducted a traffic stop. The officer approached her car and initiated his investigation. The officer started to talk with the woman and asked for her driving license and insurance. Then the officer asked her if she had any weapon in the vehicle. She said no. After that, the woman stepped out of the car and the officer wanted to know how much she had drunk because the cop could smell alcohol from her. The officer decided to give her field sobriety tests. Do you wear contacts? I do not. Any recent head trauma, traumatic brain injuries? No, sir. Nothing at all? No. I'm gonna have you stand with your feet together, toes touching, arms by your side. I want you to focus on the tip of my finger, okay? Sounds good. For the sake of this test, the tip of my finger is going to be where my fingerprint would be. I'm going to be going back and forth. I don't want you to move your head at all. Your middle finger, right? This one right here. Sounds good. Don't move your head at all, okay? Okay. Do you understand what I want you to do? Yes, sir. Okay. The officer gave her instructions about the first test. He gave her a horizontal gaze test. During the exercise, the officer noticed her eyes were not moving clockwise. The woman was not able to complete the test in a proper manner. You keep your arms by your side and you won't stop this test until you're completely finished. Okay. Do you understand what I want you to do? Yes, Any questions? No, Go ahead and begin. Turn. One, two, 
last one. Perfect, ma'am. Face me. This leg will be straight. That foot will be parallel with the ground. You'll focus on the tip of your toe, counting in 1,000s. Okay. You'll continue to do that until I tell you to stop. It's going to be about 30 seconds. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Any questions? No, sir. Go ahead and begin. Go ahead and stop. I'm gonna have you put your boots back on, okay? These are some tall boots. I know. They're so hard to put on to me. And I'm gonna speak to you right over here, okay? Yes, sir. The officer gave her instructions about the walk and turn test. During testing, she was not able to walk properly, but after she finished the test, the officer gave her instructions to do a one-leg stand. She performed poorly on that test as well. After that, the officer arrested her. He placed her in the police cruiser. Then the officer told the process about a breathalyzer test and additional chemical test. He explained that if she refuses, she will lose her driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. The woman decided to not take the tests. She was charged with aggravated DUI, failure to maintain lane, and failure to stop or yield at an intersection. While the woman was at least peaceful with the officers, our next individual needlessly got into a physical altercation with the cops. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Wait, okay. This incident revolved around a man named Ivan. In 2023, in New Mexico, an officer observed a car with missing insurance status. The officer immediately initiated a traffic stop. When the cop approached Ivan's car, he noticed that Ivan was in an inebriated state. Then the officer asked for his ID, license, registration, and insurance. The officer then found out Ivan lacked valid insurance for his vehicle. Then the officer asked him to step out of the car. The officer told him that he could smell alcohol from his vehicle. Yes. The officer asked Ivan to stand by the bumper of the car. After a while, Ivan argues with the cops and then gets into a physical altercation. Other officers soon arrived at the location and apprehended Ivan. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Wait, okay? I got him, track. Hey, hey, dude, relax, relax. You and Hey, bro, relax. Stop! I'm not talking to you. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Hey. Listen to me. Stop, dude. Okay. You're gonna make it worse. Hey, bro. Chill out. We're gonna put you in my unit, all right? We're gonna set you down. No one's gonna hurt you. All right? Just have a seat. It's okay, hey. That's all. Hey, dude, listen to me. We're gonna put you in a unit, all right? Just chill. Hey, stop, dude. Hey, dude, hey. What's you the, listen what, to me. Listen what's to me. Number? I'll get it for you. I'm the lieutenant, okay? Hey, okay. dude. Okay. Relax. Hey, I'm the lieutenant. Hey, listen to me. We're gonna put you in the unit. Come on. Hmm. It's okay. Come on. Hey, come on. Yeah. Hey. Back on, my Stop, dude. Stop. Hey, whoa, whoa. Come on, dude. Come on. Just relax, bro. No, you know me. I'm the lieutenant, bro. Stop. Yeah, you know, you know yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Just have a seat, you bro. Know me, you know me. Yeah, dude, we're not going to hurt you, right, bro? I ain't doing nothing. It's all right, man. Have a seat. Come on. Just cooperate with us. Don't make any more. He did. Hey. He did. Okay, have a seat. I'll talk to him, okay? He have did. Have a seat. Hey, have a seat. Have a seat. He did. He okay. did. Okay, have a seat, bro. Put your feet in. No. Here, no, no, no. He did. Hey, don't make any worse, right? No, I'm saying, I'm saying. I know you. I know you. He Wait, did. Hey, I'm the lieutenant, bro. All he right. did, yeah, but I'm he did. I'm your buddy here, bro. Have a seat. I know, I know. Have a seat. Let me get on the other side. But he did. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. Come on, bro. Just relax, bro. Hey, I'm here. He did. He did. We're not here to. We're not here to hurt you, bro. Have a seat. Come on. 
He did that. All right. All right, let me talk to him, right? Have he hurt me. All right, have a seat, and then uh, we'll get with you. Yeah. Why is he looking at his fingers then? Hey, don't worry about it, bro. Hold all on, right, just right, have right. a seat. Have a seat. He did, he did, y'all. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm it's sorry. Okay. Relax, okay? I'm, I'm gonna put this seatbelt on you, okay? He Sit did, back. Bro. I gotta, I gotta buck you in, all right? Just relax, yeah. bro. He did, though. So we're here to help you, bro. Settle down. Settle well, down. he did. Hey. Bro. You know, you know me. No, 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 hold on, hold on. You know me. I know you, I know you, bro. Just have a seat. He did, relax. he did. Put your feet in, watch it. Just put that leg in, okay? Yeah. Watch me, bro, watch me. After Ivan was caught and handcuffed him, he started screaming and misbehaving with the cops. He kept arguing with them. The cops then placed him inside the cruiser. After that, the officer tried to talk with Ivan calmly. Ivan says he lost his father and he wanted to go to his father's funeral. He was then transported to jail. Ivan was charged with resisting arrest and DUI. While Ivan tried to fight the cops in a state of drunken rage, our next individual was as cool as a cucumber throughout his entire traffic stop. Five, 1006. Would that be enough? I told you what tell you to stop, sir. The incident revolves around a Texas senator named Charles Schwertner. On February 7th, 2023, in Austin, an officer noticed a vehicle failing to maintain a lane. He decided to pull the vehicle over. The officer explained why he was stopping them. He then inquired where they were coming from and then asked for the senator's ID and driver's license. The officer then inquired if he had anything to drink and requested him to exit the vehicle. After the senator exited the vehicle, the officer informed him that he could smell alcohol from him. He then decided to conduct field sobriety tests. Before the tests, the officers checked him for security reasons. Keep your hands on your side, count out loud what step you're taking, and once you start, do not stop till you're completely done. Did you understood my instructions? Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. All right, you may begin, sir. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Can you do it again? As I instructed you, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Officer, oh, is that good? Yes, sir. Uh, last exercise. We're almost done here. Go ahead and stand right here. Yes. Have face me. The officers explained the heel-to-toe test to the senator. Then he proceeded with the test. During the exercise, the senator's heels were not touching his toes. After the test concluded, the officer gave him another exercise. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,005, 1,006. Would that be enough? I told you what to stop, sir. That's sufficient, is it not? No, it's not. Keep going. How many times you want me to do this? Till I tell it to stop, sir. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008. Are you done yet, officer? No, sir. Keep going. Officer? Yes, sir. This is getting to be a interrogation. It's really not an interrogation. Yes, sir. All I'm trying to do is test your ability to follow instructions. It's standardized plus sobriety test. I have test. your instructions multiple. Well, it doesn't seem like it here. He made a determination, and may I go? Okay, sir, would you finish this exercise or not, sir? Again, I've done it multiple times. Okay, cool. So you're, so you're down here? I've done it. I'll okay. do it one more time if you let me to, but I will. I want you to do the whole complete exercise. So if you wish to continue, you, you gotta do a cat out stuff. It's up to me to tell you. You don't need to follow I up on like this. trained seal, and you're acting inappropriately and being a um, individual that is not. So that is what the Dixon manual tells us to do, sir. How many seconds? I, I don't know. I will let you know once you're done. The officer gave the senator instructions about the one leg stand test. He then conducted the exercise. The senator was becoming visibly impatient as he stopped the test before the cop ended it. He began to argue with the officer. After some back and forth, the senator completed the test. The officer then wanted to take a breathalyzer test. As the senator refused, the officers decided to arrest him. He was then placed inside the cruiser. He was then transported to jail. Senator Charles Schwertner was charged with DWI. 
The charges were later dropped. While the senator was ultimately able to avoid facing any consequences, the same could not be said about our next individual, as he was an ordinary citizen. Now just keep your head still and follow the tip Dude. of the pen with your eyes. Yeah. I just have to explain all this I to know, you, okay? I know, I know, I get it, I get it. The incident revolved around a man named Cody. On July 8th, 2023, in Menominee Falls, police officers stopped a vehicle for making an illegal U-turn and failing to display registration plates. The officer contacted the driver, who showed signs of impairment. The police officer stopped Cody's vehicle and requested his driver's license and ID card. After reviewing the documents, the officer informed Cody about the illegal U-turn he made. Cody provided his phone number and stated he had only consumed one beer. Following this, the officer asked Cody to exit the vehicle and inquired about any firearms, to which Cody replied in the negative. Cody was then asked several questions by the officers. Despite stating he had only consumed one Miller beer, Cody's intoxicated state was evident. Then, the officer asked him whether he wanted to participate in a field sobriety test, to which he agreed. Can you remove your half of this, too, man? Thank you, I appreciate it. All right. Just keep your head level. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you see the tip of my pen? Yep. Right here? Yep. Can you touch that with your finger? Thank you. All right. Now just keep your head still and follow the tip Dude. of my pen with your eyes. Yeah. I just have to explain all this I to know, you, okay? I know, I know, I know. I get it. I get it. All right. So, again, keep, your, keep focus on that. Don't move your head. Just move your eyes, okay? All right, gotcha. Don't move your head. Look forward, straight at me with your head. Okay. Remember, focus on the tip of my pen, gotcha. which is your eyes, okay? Yep. Sorry, right, it's, you know. It's okay. It's natural, dude. You just know? keep your head, yep. Just try to keep your head still. If you want, tip your chin down just a little bit. There you go. And focus again at the tip of my pen. Just keep focusing on the tip of the pen. Focusing on the tip of the pen. My knees are getting weak, man. Okay, if you need to blink, you can blink. I don't need to blink okay. my knees, man. I lay granite. Man, I don't... Okay. Just focus on the tip of my pen. I'm going to raise it straight up. Just keep your head still again. Just fall with your eyes. Yeah, you guys are doing the most. Jesus Christ. All right. All the tests that we have to do. Yeah. I mean, man, like... Again, just Does, do I not prove my point, dude? Okay. Well, just keep yeah. on following. Don't just move your head, on. though. Okay. Yeah. All right. I know the trucks. I tried to give you the title. You didn't take it. All right. I just need to focus for a second. Just keep your head still. All right. Go ahead. Tip your chin down just a little bit. All right. You see the tip of my pen again? Mm -hmm. All right. Now follow it. Just your eyes only. We following the. Following the pen. Okay. All right. No. I'm trying to be the best I can with you guys. All right, I appreciate it. All right, for the next test, I need you to do 
is go back how you're standing. Put your feet together, arms at your side. Now can you imagine a straight line extending from your left foot? Can you, you can? All right, go ahead and put your left foot on that line. Now put your right foot, heel to toe in front of it. Keep your arms down at your side. Man, um, man. Oh, all right. All right, so again, yep, imagine that you got that straight line coming off from your left foot, and now you got your right foot on it. Nope, nope. We'll we don't want you to start yet. I'm just explaining this test right now. Yeah, I know, but man. So put your arms down at your side. Do you have any medical conditions, by the way, that affect your walking or balance? Bum knee, bum I leg, I lay bum granite, feet. dude. Okay. It means I use my back all day, every day. Do you dude. have any, like, diagnosed issues or anything? No, like man. You know what? It doesn't even matter. So what's the point of this? Just forget it, dude. Forget, forget what? Everything. What, what am I going to get? Okay. okay, I passed one test. I'm gonna fail the next test because I can't stand straight. Okay. So, what are you gonna give me? So here's the deal. We have two other tests we have to do. Okay, let's do the other are two because I'm okay, telling well, you I'm gonna fail that's this one, one the, either that's way. That's one of the tests. We're, we're good right, to well, let's tests. do a breathalyzer and let's okay, do well, no, whatever I, other test we gotta do because no, this, this one I'm not gonna pass, man. I'm I'm ready to lay so down. So are you man. willing to do this test? Yes or no? Not this. I mean. I mean, I'll do it. I'm going to fill it. We, but, want yeah. you, we want you to try. Let's sure, try sure. Okay. Okay. But I'm telling you, man. So, okay. Cody, just listen to my partner. Yep. Let him explain everything to you. I'm his training officer. He's in training. All right? He's trying to explain it. Listen to him. And we'll do the test. Then I thought on. unregistered vehicle was a ticket. Dude. This is crazy. Yeah. All right. So, again, that straight line extending from your foot. Imagine that. Okay, can you tell me when to start? Because I'm not going to start. I will tell you when to start. I have to explain the test first, all right? Yeah. So, again, you have the straight, you can imagine a straight line extending from your left foot. Go ahead and put your right foot on that line in front of your left foot, heel to toe. Now, put your arms down at your side. Down at your side all the way. All right. And what am I. Stay in that position, Mom. Yep. You need to stay in that position. No, no. Give me a ticket. I'm good. Okay, so are you done doing these tests? Yep. All right. Put your hands back. Uh, no. Hey, you ain't got it. Um, no, clearly, go ahead, Aaron. Cole, it's 19 to your head. Hey, don't do it this way. So we'll just push it down. Do you have any prior OWI convictions? No. Okay. Mother... Sorry. So, so no, all no, it is, so all it is, it's a ticket then. So, okay, are we just so seeing someone sober? When am I gonna be out? Can we get? I'm you not a, trying to do Do you have a sober shit? person who can come get you? But who has right no now, drinks? Yeah, in that. Well, if they're in a bar, they're definitely not sober. Well, I tried to explain that to you. You guys okay. made me do all this. I tried okay. to tell you. Well, we're doing our you job. Know, I tried to be straight, and you guys made me do this right. for no reason. I tr I told you. Right. I was in the bar. Escort him to the front of the car. This is yours. Right. do yep. this for no reason, bro. Your search. Alright, right up here to the front of the squad. Don't pull my truck, bro. I got someone come get that right, right now. Right, right, right over here. Stand right here and just face the front of the squad. Like I said, I got a search in. I got crack in my face. Do you have anything I, I should know about? I will kick them out. No, we'll we'll second, we're searching by the PD. Yeah. Do you have anything I should know about in your pockets? No, man. No? I mean, there might, uh, there's a raise. I work, man. I work for a health class stone. I'm telling you, I need to be free Monday, man. I'm, man. What time do you start work? I start at 6, man. Okay. I got to Like I said, all we need is someone who has zero alcohol in their system and come get you in a couple hours. Then you'll be on your way.
Go ahead and spread your feet a little bit. That's up to eight. Yes, it is. Test it. Alright, we're gonna walk to the side of the squad. Consent. Yep. You didn't consent. Thank you. I mean, I don't even know. Go ahead, search it. You ain't gonna find anything. <laughs> yeah, you figured out? Yeah. Okay. Right. So it's like this consistency, like very thick. That's kind of long. The officer initiated field sobriety tests on Cody starting with the gaze test, which Cody completed. Next, the walk and turn test commenced after the officer's explanation, during which Cody denied any medical issues. Cody failed this test, leading to his prompt apprehension and handcuffing by the police officers. They then escorted him to the police cruiser, conducted a thorough search on him, seized his belongings, and secured him inside the cruiser. After handling Cody, officers thoroughly searched his vehicle. They discovered empty shot bottles and THC cartridges, Finally, the police cruiser transported him to Waukesha County Jail. Cody was booked for driving under the influence and possessing illegal substances. For more interesting stories about criminals, hit the subscribe button.